The headlines were stunning. Mayor smokes crack. It happened in Toronto. It was caught on tape. The mayor confessed, and his approval ratings jumped. Here's ABC's Rena Ninen. It's an apology that took six months to make. And this morning, the mayor of Canada's largest city is weighing his options. I embarrassed everyone in this city, and I will be forever sorry. On Tuesday, Toronto Mayor Rob Ford finally admitting he smoked crack cocaine after denying the allegations since May. Yes, I have smoked crack cocaine. Am I an addict? No. When have you have I tried it? Um, probably in one of my drunken stupors. Elected three years ago, promising to stop the gravy train at City Hall. Mr. Mayor, what are you going to say to the public today? It's the runaway train Rob Ford himself. He's unable to contain. The mayor of Toronto has admitted he smoked crack while in a drunken stupor. The mayor was charged with being way too exciting for Canada. And now, new video obtained by the Toronto Star shows Ford on an expletive-filled rant, threatening to kill someone. All I can do now is apologize and move on. I don't know what I will do. While two-thirds now say they want Ford to resign or go to rehab, his approval rating has actually increased five points since before the scandal, George. Okay, Rena, thanks. We're joined now by Canadian broadcaster George Strombolopoulos. Great to see you again. Good to see you, sir. Hey, George, what is going on up in Toronto? It is a strange turn of events up there. I think that uh, it's unprecedented for us. We, you know, we're used to scandals. There's one going on with the Prime Minister's office and the Senate now and other mayors, but this is a particular kind of scandal that we're just figuring out. It's a big city, but it's growing and people are trying to understand the divide between the suburbs and the downtown core. And I think that's what this is really about. How was he able to go on with these, um, you know, denials for so long, even though the tape was kind of out there? That's, that's the question for the ages, George. We can't do much about it. When the mayor's elected, you can't get them out of office unless they're incarcerated, essentially. There are a couple other ways to do it. But we, we kind of wait for the proof. And there, if there is no proof, then there is no proof. And now that the proof is out there and there's the, the acceptance, uh, the rest of Torontonians say, okay, well, now what do we do? It really is the most polarized time for us in that city. Does it, so does he actually have a strong group of supporters to say, hey, hold on, stay in office, we, we're behind you? It's hard to tell if it's from his base or if it's from him and his brother, if these guys are just going to shamelessly hold on. No one really knows, but around the outskirts of the city and the suburbs, he does have a real base. It's wavering a little bit. His popularity is going up. Yes, the calls for his resignation are also going up. So no one knows what any of those numbers mean right now because it's still over a year away for the next election or just around a year away from the next election. But it's a polarized city. They don't have any other people who are real populist the way he is. And I think that a lot of people like the fact that there's this guy who seems to be fighting for them. It talks about the gravy train, uses those kinds of terms. I guess it must be frustrating for Canadians to have this be the story that crosses the border. Yeah, in a way it is. The one thing that most Canadians realize is that this is the city where Anthony Weiner is, right? This is the <laughs> country that has lots of presidents and all around the world. Politicians screw up majorly. This is just our time. <laughs> but every Every country has it. Every city has it. The fact that it's crack and this is a mayor that's so polarizing to begin with makes it more sensational. And the, they are so audacious, the two Ford brothers, that I think it seems out of character for who we are, but it, but it isn't because it's a really diverse country and a diverse city. Yes or no, a year from now, is he in office? Oh, I leave that up to the voters. I don't know. <laughs> but, the, the, but the fact that it is unknown says a lot okay. about his position.